Revolve! Revolve! Did you guys enjoy the film? Yes! Shout out to these amazing actors and actresses. Woo! Oh my goodness. So we're going to open it up for a little Q&A. Um, I wanted them to have an experience of you know, showing their film and being able to talk about it afterwards. And so I'm going to direct my first question to Adani and Brianna. What was the inspiration behind Revolve? The two of us, I mean, AJ's been making music, music videos and whatnot. We were like, uh, AJ was like one day in the cafeteria, hey, do you want to make a short film? And a bunch of us got together and we were like, yeah, let's do it. So I think the inspiration for me was just taking a project from the very start, an idea, and making it into something real like it is today, all the way through to the end. That's awesome, my, that's awesome. My How about you, AJ? You want to add to that? Um, I think my inspiration is just uh, my drive to want to, you know, be able to do this in the future. So I think that, you know, starting early, even though, you know, I'm, I guess I'm pretty young, but even though I'm starting really early, uh, it's good to have the experience and then see how everybody's going you know, to all work together and, you know, how it's going to be in the future. So, you know, when I do this in the future, I'll know how it is. Awesome. And how difficult was it to put the script together and then locate the <laughs> Oh. <laughs> is that how it is? <laughs> okay. um, uh. We started back then. We, and once we got the idea, we wrote some drafts. And as we were finishing the script, we did auditions for our lovely actors here. Oh yeah, lovely actors here, you know, thank you guys so much. We have some of the um, people who also helped us, say hi, she's up there, say hi. <laughs> So, you know, honestly, a lot did go into all this. Um, we were like casting for like two weeks, or two weeks a month, and you know, these are the best options that we could find. You know, they're pretty okay, you know, not, not, not special, but you know, um, they did their jobs. A lot of dedication from everybody, a lot of scheduling. Yes, a, a, lot, lot of a lot of rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing and filming and filming and filming. So I'm going to ask two more questions and then I'd like to open it up to the audience if the audience has any questions. So, actors and actresses, tell me, how challenging was it to play your roles knowing how the end was going to be? I guess I want to talk. No, no, no. You <laughs> I just want to know what it was. Um, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. So, funny story. I helped that. I helped out at the initial drafting process. Okay. Um, it was the three of us. Um, I was watching a TikTok. Shout out TikTok. Love it. Um, no, not applaud. The thing's still there. <laughs> um, I had watched the TikTok and it was like a Walking Dead thing popped up and it was about Rosita. I'm not gonna do any spoilers. Because he has a TV. And I was like, you know what would be cool? 
if it started where it ended and someone just died. <laughs> so I knew from the beginning how it was gonna go, um, like from before the script was even done. Yeah. So. Uh, Would anybody else like to take that question? Yeah. Um. So. Hi, sorry, I made you guys really sad. Um, but yeah, I mean, so it was actually really funny. So I got the call from, well, <laughs> ironic kind of funny. Um, so I got the call from Adrian and Brianna, and they were like, hey, congratulations, you're cast as Quinn. And I was like, awesome, great, I'm so excited. Um, and then <laughs> Brianna gets on the phone, and she goes, so by the way, um, you kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> becoming the character and from, I guess, emotionally locking yourself into mm -hmm. that situation um, while still being able to portray the emotion of someone who knew that the character had to off themselves in order to save her friends or her family, I guess. Oh, now for the two male actors, you guys would seem to be the toughest in the group, right? Mm -hmm. So how tough was that? that? Because <laughs> you knew what needed to be done, and like it seemed like they weren't really like trying to hurry up and get to what needed to be done. So how hard was that? Uh, it wasn't hard at all. On the screen. Honestly, just okay. So a lot of my lines are kind of mostly just improvised. <laughs> okay. So my character was uh, mostly seen as a jerk, right. and so what I, I did was, what, I, what I did was make him, I played myself a little more and just was more of a jerk. I made no. him more of a jerk by the end of the movie, and it was basically telling her, hey, you should kill yourself. <laughs> He's a very sweet person in real life. Yeah, in real life. Yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a incredibly <laughs> lovely person. <laughs> I, I see you guys shaking your head back there. When you grab that shovel and you kind of like swing it over your shoulder. I, 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 I it was at that point where it's like, wow, I was really dead the whole time. I, maybe, <laughs> maybe I have some sort of a sympathy and I just know that that body is just going to lay there to rot if I'm not the one that takes care of it. <laughs> Take it over. Sure. I was doing that um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have people um, like that in our lives. Yeah, I think that um, when I was first given the opportunity for this, um, I remember uh, I heard about it and I heard that this was going to be like a zombie story. And I'm like, uh, I feel like zombie stories are kind of like overdone, right? Like. And I'm not, no, hold on, hold on, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I feel like that's all um, the time we have now. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Bye. Um, yeah, I feel like, I'm like, man, I feel like these are like overdone. I feel like there's like no, like, like real, like, meat there sometimes. Like, I feel like it's like, oh, cool, like, we're, we're fighting zombies and like, end the world, this, this, and that. You know, and to me, like, as an actor, like, like, somebody that wants to, like, portray art, like, I felt like, like ah, I don't know, like, what, what's there? And then, you know, I went ahead and, and I saw Brianna, you know, I was already gonna, I was already talking to AJ about, like, jumping in. And Brianna's like, are you good at acting? And I'm like, uh, kind of, sure, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, why not? You know, so I go ahead, I do the audition, and um, I really saw that there was, like, an actual heart behind this. And to me, like, I don't even really like to see this, like, fully as, like, a zombie story, because there's no zombies in it, you know? But, well, ha, ha, but, um... But it's this story about people that um, are in a very desperate situation of, of what do you do? Like, I feel like this, this idea of somebody, oh, somebody got affected, oh no, okay. is so overlooked in so much media. And I, I looked, I, I, I said to Brianna, I'm like, I love that you guys focused on this. Like this idea 
uh, and you really just saw these characters as people, and I feel like that was incredible. So I feel like what Alex has to do, and, and I always say to people, I'm like, man, I feel like Alex has like, like the most boring part, <laughs> you know? But but really, um, and I, I feel like it it was kind of like it's kind of you're not really sure what's going on. Um, it, exactly what Alex is in Alex's head, but Alex and Quinn had already had that conversation. Alex knew what was going to happen, mm -hmm. so when he was arguing with Dylan, he already had his mind made up. They they had already knew what was going on, okay. and and for for Alex and we talked a lot about the characters in the background, about oh, wow. who, who these characters oh, are. So much we even lot. like had yeah, group chats as characters and yeah. their characters. It was great. We, we went through a great process. It turns out she was immune the whole time. No, like, you're fired. You're fired. Sorry, you know, the like young that. lady who tripped and fell. Oh my goodness. Yes. So, how hard was that trip? <laughs> <laughs> we had to do it over and over again. We had to do it so many times that my foot actually started hurting. Um, so the limping was actually natural. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, method acting is, is crazy, because I just pretended my foot was dead, and I actually didn't use it at all. I liked him because he would carry me everywhere. It was great. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed my part. Um, I basically took inspiration that, like, Emma, she would blame herself for the whole thing, since her falling caused the zombie to attack. So I just took inspiration for that, and why mm -hmm. I'm always sad, and always, like, trying to make people feel better in the film because mm -hmm. it's my fault. Everything. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's everybody's fault. It's everybody. It's every spike. You know who's fault? Exactly. Well, it's her. The zombie. <laughs> it's a zombie's fault. 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 Oh my goodness. So are there any um, questions from the audience? Seen. Sure. Oh. Thank you to the cast and crew for the great film. Yeah. And everyone who worked on it. Secondly, I just want to know what's the symbolism for like time and death for you guys in this film because I know this has a lot of like it symbolizes like everyone's time is short. How do you enjoy the last few moments? I blame her for making me try to have fun <laughs> when I was just like I I, I don't I don't want to be around her the entire time. That was my 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 character's thought process. Okay, Batman. I, I want to keep. I don't want to keep See, the relationship I, I saw it was, is. um... <laughs> I don't know, Clementine and... Uh, Clementine! Oh. Lee, Lee and Clementine. I don't know if anyone's played the Walking Dead game where um, Lee oh. adopts this little girl oh. in the zombie apocalypse and she's sad and innocent and just sweet and I'm just like, I will kill anybody that, you know, gets no her dangerous. Uh, yeah, no, no remorse. I already lost my family in the actual thing. I'm not losing my new adopted daughter. I'm just kidding. But then she convinced me to like, hey, like see the lighter side of things, enjoy life, and uh, that's kind of like what she does with my characters. Just if it was for her, I'd probably just be. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say just dead inside, more dead inside than an actual zombie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When we first started talking about the script and the characters and exactly what was going to go down in the film, we were talking about a moral or a meaning behind, you know, what these characters are happening, you know, what's happening to these characters. And I think that in a lot of zombie movies, I mean, that I've seen, you know, someone gets bit, bang, gone. But with these characters, someone gets bit and it's like, oh, that's my friend? Yeah. That's my best friend, that's my sister, you know, that's someone that I'm close to, that's mm -hmm. a real person wow. that is going to turn into a monster. Wow. And then how they handle that. Of course, Dylan is thinking, you know, practically like that is dangerous because right. he's a character, so he's not exactly being a jerk, he's looking at safety. Absolutely. But, of course, he's kind of but anyway, <laughs> um, that's what I was thinking about for the moral, where it's like, you can always take a breath and think, about your next choice, about mm -hmm. what you're going to do. You know, you're, you, let's say you're stressed out, you're working, you have, you, you get tunnel vision, you're like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, just take a second, breathe, you go dance in the rain, smell a flower, touch grass, you know, and then you give yourself a second to breathe, give yourself a break, and then you can go back to the bank, and I think that's really important for a lot of people to see 
Which scene do you think was the hardest to film or to get right? <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Still on our oh. Okay. <laughs> so it's not gonna it's not gonna seem like it's gonna make any sense, but that trip scene oh. took so long. The amount of times that they had to trip and like like they told like they were like, yeah, I tripped a lot of times. You don't you don't understand. <laughs> it was so and where we were shooting, there was a shooting range as well. And so we had to think about that. And, and there was airplanes and, and there was Airplane. like jet skis. I, yeah. I don't know what they were doing, but that one was bad. And the hallway scene was we had really to tough. The entire scene. Oh, yeah. We had to yeah. shoot the entire scene. Oh, because I forgot. Because you would hear gunshots in the back. You guys, yeah. like yeah. behind the truck, yeah. we come yeah. find yeah. you. That was yeah. totally yeah. shot. Yeah. Let me check. Bye. <laughs> so I was about to say the the tree scene where Quinn and Alex are behind the tree and there's like that's kind of their last moment where they're like saying goodbye to each other. Super sad. Ooh, okay, great. Um, <laughs> so that scene, I wear glasses. Um, I have contacts in right now. Oh. <laughs> that day I had forgotten to put contacts in, so I have my glasses on. We get through the whole scene. I get to the back of the tree where Quinn and Alex are standing up to go back around. I stand. I put my arm on the tree and I feel my glasses falling. And I went. And you just see me look up, and they were like, what? And I was like, I'm sorry, guys. I my glasses <laughs> off. We had to reshoot that entire scene. It was basically the whole day of shooting, and we had to reshoot that in, like, 10 minutes because Suri had to go to work. So it was yeah. it was very rushed. But I ended up looking okay. So not okay. Xavier, <laughs> okay. what about you? Xavier's part of our crew here. Yeah. Everybody say hi, Xavier. Hi, Xavier. Xavier plays a character that you don't get to see in this film, what do you mean? but maybe for the next one. Okay. He, he's a time traveler, just popped in randomly. Okay. Oh, no, he's, he's okay. He's a what was the hardest part for you? The scene that was the hardest for me, I don't know if you guys remember the scene where she was knocking on the door. Um, oh. There was me, Brianna, and AJ, all in the little corner. Right, right there was a little. It was in the door. We couldn't go in the room, so we were all stuck in the corner. I was holding the light. She was holding the camera. Mm -hmm. He was holding the mic. And we were all just like, flashlight oh, <laughs> and the cords. <laughs> and it was not just, we didn't just shoot it one time. And the fact that I was like, behind the door. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this film did take a while to make, and, you know, I am proud of everybody here. You know, everybody yeah. played a role throughout all the time and the scheduling because, you know, not everybody is available all the time. So we still were able to get it done. Uh, the movie looked great. Um, you know, everybody did great, except for you. But, you know, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> otherwise, uh, I want to thank everybody for coming and seeing the premiere. And yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming.
Awesome. Nice. <laughs> so just sign. Yeah, consent. Huh? Oh my gosh, look at the water. Oh, yeah. Come over here, sign in the dark spot. Yo, my signature right here, the way it's even. My signature. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. My signature is a swivel. Let's do it. Wherever you want, wherever you want. Artistic, the, oh, artistic yeah. license. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs>